I am here today to talk about vasectomy, uh, a very touchy subject for a lot of men coming into the hospital uh, and into our offices, uh, really afraid to have the procedure done. But hopefully by the time they would either hear this or by the time they would have a consult, they'd be much more relaxed in terms of having the procedure. And what we do is we isolate the vas at the level of the scrotum. The vas is the tube that transports the sperm uh, from the testicles to the prostate area for ejaculation. We go ahead and test to make sure that everything is numb. We make a small incision and then we bring the vas out through that incision. We then go ahead and remove a section of the vas about that long and then we put numbing medication around both ends of the vas which is now two separate tubes. We cauterize and stitch both ends because we don't want both ends to join back together again. We go ahead and place the separated tube back into the scrotum and then go ahead and close the skin with stitches that dissolve on their own. We then go ahead and do the other side the same way and then uh, you're basically ready to go home. It takes anywhere from 20 minutes to a half hour to do the procedure, but the main thing when you go home is you really have to take it easy. You're, uh, you're basically in charge of the couch and the clicker. You're up to basically urinate and to eat and you're going to put an ice pack on the scrotum 20 minutes on the hour uh, until that night when you go to bed. You put it on right over the dressing and the cold from that ice pack will keep the numbing medication that we use local, but it also minimizes swelling. The next day you can be up, you can walk around, take off the dressing, take a shower. Just don't do any heavy lifting and don't go for any five mile walks. Basically you're back to work usually within 24 to 48 hours. If you have a routine where you do a lot of exercising, weight lifting, running, swimming, we tell you to wait a week before you go back to that routine. The other thing I tell patients at this point in time is that you could still get your wife pregnant. So you have to have protected intercourse until you know the uh, sperm analysis that we're going to do two months after the procedure is entirely negative. So two months out, we're going to do a sperm analysis. If everything is zero with that sperm analysis, you're all set. If there's even one sperm on the specimen, we're going to tell you that you have to do another sperm analysis a month later until we get you down to zero. We'll see patients who don't have children who uh, want to go ahead and, and proceed with this and I definitely tell them to go home and really talk about it because it is a, a big procedure to have done. We view this as being a permanent procedure rather than being a reversible procedure. We all know that it is reversible but it takes a lot more surgery to reverse it than the initial procedure. 